Willie D. Live. What's up, family? NFL Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp does not care how much money you make or how fine you are. His dogs will always come first. I'm just messing with y'all, man. <laughs> That's wild. That is wild. Shannon was talking to uh, Chad Ochocinco on their podcast, Nightcat. <laughs> and they were talking about the dog. <laughs> the dogs. And Shannon said, the dogs... When he meet a woman, he let him know straight up. The dog's going to get on the couch. They're going to get on the bed. They're going to get in the bed from time to time. Shannon says when he meets a woman, he lets her know straight up. The dogs live here. You don't. So you got a problem with it. Kick rocks. <laughs> Some dog lovers. You got to love them. Man. Why if humans loved humans as much as they love dogs. Boy, this society would be unstoppable. There would be no murders. <laughs> when the last time you saw somebody just actually kill a dog or even heard about somebody killing a dog? Uh, dogs have to get hit by cars and stuff to die. They got to age out. It's got to die of old age or something, you know? They have to swallow acorns or something like that to die. But humans can get it all day long from humans. Some of the women so mad at Shannon, they were calling him gay. I mean, they were going in on him. The name of that dog is a, a Pomeranian is what it's called. It's a Pomeranian. It's one of those little small dogs with a uh, long silky hat and a pointed, pointed ears. I call them pocket dogs. Uh, I'm not into little bitty dogs like that. Uh, I'm not into dogs, period. But if I did have a dog, I'd get a big bad dog that could bite somebody's leg off. Because I just believe that dogs are a lot of upkeep. Shannon said he paid $10,000 for that dog. So he got the dog from overseas. He said the woman that he bought it from had to fly to another, what was in one country, had to fly to another country, and then had to meet him back in the United States with the dog. Oh, man, that's, that is an expensive dog. Ten racks. I believe when it comes to dogs that a dog should be able to earn his keep. I mean, it's like having a baby, right? Like, I don't want to have to come back to the house to let the dog out. I know you can have other people to do all that stuff for you, but you got to have uh, people dog sitting and stuff like that. And then you also are on the hook if that dog is neglected in any kind of way by you or somebody you put in charge of that dog. So I don't want those type of issues. And on top of that, like I say, the dog need to earn his keep. The dog need to be a killer. I mean, if I'm going to be cleaning up somebody's poop, you know, he's going to have to earn that key. That dog got to be a killer. I need it. I don't need him to just be a watchdog. I need him to kill. Somebody run up on me, get him. You know, just a Karen come through. I just want to, I need to do it. I, I got to have a subtle signal for a Karen, though, because then they'll be like, I made my dog do it. So I got to have some subtle, like, Do something like that and the dog just go get her, you know. But the dog got to earn his keep. Dogs are expensive. So the dog got to be able to attack. I have to have an attack dog. I'm not going to have no dog as an accessory, you know. Uh, I'm not going to have a dog just to kick it. Some of y'all get mad about that because y'all like those, what they call those dogs? A companion dog. You know, 
I get it, fam. I get it. You know, like some people are in love with the dog and stuff like that. But I'm going to tell you straight up, fam, if I met the one, if I met the one, man, I'll take both of those dogs and kick them out on their head simultaneously, straight through the front door. I wouldn't even look back. I wouldn't even see how they land. They would be gone. I'm not giving up a good woman for some dogs. <laughs> but what say you, family? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.